Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube. So the middle piece always stays the same for every color. So instead of trying to move the middle piece to the color, you have to move the color to the middle piece. Corners, which are these, have three colors. And edges, which are the middle parts, have two colors. So I'm going to shuffle the cube and step one will be displayed shortly. So this is step one of solving the Rubik's Cube. I just wanted to tell you guys now that I'm not going to solve this with any algorithms. I'm only going to teach you guys this with colors. So, first we have to find the yellow center, which is over here. Since white on the Rubik's Cube is yellow's opposite, we have to bring white edges around here. The corners of this cube don't matter right now, just for this step. Over here, these. We have to get this, 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 and this white. So, we have to move white edges here and here. So, first you have to find them on the cube. There's one here, right? So, that's one white edge. And now that this is here, we can move it. Like this. Here's another edge. And like I said, this doesn't matter. So, this is the other edge. And now we have the sunflower. So next step is making the eyes over here, which should be blue. And this blue should match up with the blue. So since this is white and blue, we move it over to blue, then turn it twice. And since this is white and orange, we have to match it up to the centerpiece, which it already was, and turn. This one, white and red, turn it here, and then turn like this. White and green, and then like this. Now second step will be displayed now. Now we're going to fix the full white portion. So while you're fixing the whites, it's really important to note that you can't disturb this plus or you can't move away any of these eyes, these two blocks for any side. So first we'll look for an easy piece of white to move up, which is probably this one. The colors are white, blue and orange. Now we'll just move it over to the white, blue, and orange, this area. And now that it's here, to move it up here, which we're, is where we're targeting, and without disturbing these, you have to turn it here, down, like this, up. So now it's in there, and the correct colors are over here. Next we'll look for another easy piece, which is this. Orange, green, and white. We'll just turn it over. But this one isn't here, so we don't do the same thing. Because it's over here, we have to turn this here. Then when we turn it down, it'll get in the correct area. Oh yeah, you can't turn it down from the left. You should always turn it down from the right in most of the areas. Now we'll look for another easy piece, which is this. Actually, wait, we'll look at this one, a hard piece. Red, green, and white. Since it's down there, we have to bring it up. First, it's already in the correct area. So we turn this here, then double rotate and turn it back up. Now it's up here. We turn it here and then down the same formula for the one that was in the wrong area. And now it's there. For the last one, which is white, red, and blue, we turn it over here. And since it's like this, we turn it like this, this, and this. Now we form small T's. So for the next step, we're going to be turning it over like this and small T's on every side. For the next steps, we can't disturb the T's or the white. So now we're going to be moving on to step three. Now we're going to finish off all these edges over here to finish up the full bottom layer, leaving only the one that's covering my hands. So we're going to finish all of this. So to do this, First, we have to ignore the yellow. Any piece that has a yellow, we, sh we should just ignore for now. So first, I'll go over how to get a piece like this. There is no yellow, so we need it to complete the thing. But it's already in a different place. To get it out, the formula is right, up one, this, and that. Now we turn the cube, and there should be a white here. Then we go left, up right down and this piece would have changed now we should just look for that piece which is here now we just took that piece out now the same formula we did to take it out we have to do to put it back in 
we have to line it up with the same color so if this was here and we tried to put it in it wouldn't work we have to line this up with this and since it's red and green we're aiming it for here red green so the formula is left up right down now there's a white here and you turn it then you go right up left down and now see it's solved so here's another piece blue and orange so we're aiming it here and it's over here so we go right up left down left up right down now we found blue and red which is over here and we're gonna put it in here the formula is left up right down and then right up left down so there's only one more block which is this one orange and green but this is incorrect so we should keep it only lined up with the orange so then the same formula as last time and now we solve the bottom layer completely For step 4, we're going to solve a plus sign of yellow here. And for this step, we, ha we can just ignore this full bottom part, but we still have to maintain these colors, obviously. So, if you're going to make the plus, you have to target the formula on a place where there is no plus. These two places have the plus, but these two don't. So, for example, if you did this, it'd be wrong. Just don't target it for this. Target it for maybe this piece or this piece. So, we're going to target it for this piece. So, you go. the formula is up and then up for this one left down for this one right again and then you bring the white back down and sometimes the plus doesn't form it's not always a guarantee so you have to keep trying but if it doesn't work fully like if you try more than two or three times and it still doesn't work just shift on to a different corner so I'm just gonna shift on to this one and do the same formula up left down right down and whenever the plus comes but there's one thing here it's actually really good so right now we solve the plus and we're moving on to step five i'll explain why this is important later for step five we're going to learn how to solve the corners of the yellow but the reason why the right side is so important is because you always do the formula that i'm going to teach you now over here so then the, it'll either move here or the cube will just get solved. But instead of solving it now, I'm going to show you something else. So I'm just going to do the formula. And if this ever forms, don't do the formula here thinking you can solve it. Because then it'll just keep on repeating in an endless cycle. You have to do it here to shuffle it. And the formula is up, left, down, left, up, left, left, down. And now we're back to this. So now I'll just show you up, left, down, left, up, left, left, down. And it came here this time. But if we do up, left, down, left, up, left, left, down, the cube is solved. So for step six, we're going to be solving these parts and just making use. But the cube already has use. So I'll teach you what to do next time. So, for step 6, we're just going to solve this full part. Now, there are many different possibilities for U's to form. And right now, we got the 4 U's. But the neighboring color over here is red. There's another type of 4 U's where, for example, this color would be its opposite, which is blue. So, that's a different formula. So, don't get them confused. This is the 4 U formula A. So the formula is double rotate and then you turn its color on here. So this is a red one, so you turn it left. Then you go up and turn the cube like this. And then you go another double rotate down. And then since there are two reds here and two reds here, you just turn it like this and then go like that. 
Now this side solved, and there are three more. Now you can't just pick this or this, it has to be the opposite of the solved cube. So it should be here. Double rotate, turn it to green, up, double rotate again, down, then like, like this is wrong. You have to always turn it to this green and then the cube is solved. There are three other possibilities of use and I'll be going over them in step 7. For step 6 B, I'm going to be showing you the opposite U formula. So, the center of this blue U is green, and green is its opposite color. So, if the same thing happens to you while you're solving, do this formula. Middle up twice, then right one. Middle up twice again, and then double right. And middle up twice again single right middle up twice again and the cube is solved well, now we've only learned how to solve the rubik's cube by using u formulas but if there's no u formula there's a special formula for that so in this formula the main colors are yellow and white when you're moving it down so if any other colors pop up just kind of ignore them unless they're the u's of course so you go down, turn this way, and down again. Then you go double rotate, up, turn like this, down, and then double rotate, and then double up. So sometimes a U won't form, but always check every side, because now that we did the formula, one U formed. So just go to the opposite of that side and do the same formula. Down, this way down again, double rotate, up, turn, down, double rotate again, and then double up. And sometimes U's will form, or sometimes this will just form, the full cube. Now if a U forms, just apply the U formulas that I taught you before. Thank you.